And away we go. We've got Tom Shankly, former Cardiff Blue, Wales and British and Irish Lions alongside me. First hit of the evening, quite a substantial one. Pass behind. That's a good ball from Canna, bringing Bellini into it. Here goes Alaloifi. Ooh, <laughs> he wasn't going to pass, he wasn't going to get a kick. He's already had a yellow. I would say the Zebra are all offside in midfield there. It was quite easy with a halfway line. But here is Josh Adams. This man knows the way to the try line. He can't stop scoring. Last season he was phenomenal for the Blues. Al Evans will say he meant it. <laughs> we know he, nobody kicks the ball with topspin. But you're talking earlier, Tom, about coming into where the ball is coming down. Meyer almost held up. Vander, oh, beautiful offload on to Bonnie. Can you see it? I mean, Vander, he has crouched quite low there. That, is, that will be a bit of a mitigating factor, you know, to brace himself for the hit. Three points for the home team's outset half. Blues with possession. Evans oh, opens up right in front of him. He needs someone on his shoulder, left or right. Goes himself. Can he offload? Yes, but he finds Boney. No one quite close enough. At the uh, Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi in Parma. Cardiff Blues ahead, 16 points to six against Zebra. Zebra looking for something out of this game. Are they going to get a score in the corner? I think they are. You know, oh, just held up was Junior Lalo Ifi. I need to be a little bit more direct in, uh, in certain at certain times. You know, then they can play the white game. I think the Blues. Yeah, and they've won the penalty at that scrub. Tavi taps, puts it into the stand, and uh, George Clancy's whistle goes. The final whistle goes at the Estadio Sergio Lanfranchi in Parma. It's the first victory of the Guinness Pro 14 season.